The ideal incision should be small astigmatically neutral and suture free. It can be made through an incision in the scleral tunnel or in the clear cornea. The clear corneal incision is the most commonly used due to its self-sealing capability. In this video, we would like to discuss different types of keratomes used during FECO surgery. You can find the links to other videos on similar topics in the description of this video. You can also find the links to purchase different types of keratomes in the description of the video. The size of the incision, which is about 2.8 mm wide is standard, with options up to 2 mm and smaller, usually depends on the size of the FECO probe. Different types of keratomes with varying sizes are available. The bevel position, facing, up, down and double bevel options are available. The bevel up configuration assists in preventing early penetration into the anterior chamber. The dual bevel configuration prevents the chevron formation at the internal opening of the incision, which can interfere with wound apposition. Bevel down configuration helps in preventing very long tunnels, which makes the movement of the probe difficult. Steel blades have large surface area and help faces of the incision to approximate and seal. These blades are reusable up to 10 times without a significant loss of sharpness. The shielded configuration of blades help to avoid accidental injury and protect the finish of the knife's edge. The safety shield on the crescent blade can interfere with the creation of the groove, so surgeons often prefer an unshielded crescent blade. Diamond vs. Steel Blades At present, there are two types of blades for creating a clear corneal cataract incision, diamond and metal. Diamond keratome causes minimal distortion of corneal tissue, creates a more accurate and reproducible incision, and is much sharper than metal blades. Despite these advantages, most surgeons favor a stainless steel blade for several reasons. The cost of purchasing and maintaining a diamond blade is quite high. Furthermore, risk of transmission of Kruzfelder Jacob disease is possible. Although this is a minimal and theoretical risk during cataract surgery, the use of disposable instruments such as steel blades obviates any risk at all. Finally, a steel blade allows surgical flexibility. The low cost, multiple sizes and multiple bevel option in steel blades makes these the obvious choice. Hope you find the video useful. Please let us know in the comments the keratome or blades which you think are also useful for cataract surgery. Please let us know the other topics on which you would like to see similar videos. Check the description below for a link to other useful videos and instruments mentioned in the video.